Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steamroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steamroller free play of the day. As always, if you're having some fun digging what we're doing, we'd appreciate it if you just uh, reach out and smash that thumb. Give us a little recognition. Let us know you're out there. All right, thanks very much, guys. And of course, don't forget to check out our brand new sponsors, uh, Caesars Sportsbook. We finally teamed up with Sportsbook for the first time in Winners Winer history, and we couldn't be prouder. Doing a fantastic uh, little promotion for our viewers. Uh, 1,001, basically free bet. Not 1,000, but 1,001 uh, match play. So you make the bet, you lose it. Yep, you still got a thousand bucks in your account. You win it. Yep, now you got an extra thousand bucks because you won a thousand bucks. Perfect way for new betters who haven't tried the app yet or the online uh, website to get a really super deal. So just simply uh, download the Caesars app, open it up, go to the website. Uh, the important part is you have to put in the promo code Video Winners. You're going to get that opening bet match, win, lose, or draw up to a thousand one dollars. Of course, uh, you got to check it out. Make sure it's available in your state where gambling is legal and Caesars exist. And, of course, you must be 21 to play. That's right. Video winners, check that out. And, of course, I want you to check out me and Scott doing our show every day, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, as we attempt to help you head back to the window and uh, have a little fun, talk to people real in uh, real time, um, give our best plays of the day, answer uh, questions about games, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, do check that out if you will. And, of course, last but not least, we want to know what you're playing today. Whatever you got cooked up. Got a little basketball, pro, college, hockey, soccer. What do you got? Maybe bowl game play. Last real bowl game of the year before the national championship game. Maybe you're jumping in with both feet. Whatever you got. Hey, put those plays in the comment section. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. All right, guys, a quick recap of yesterday's action. We did have the under, uh, we had capped it at 42, it actually went up to 43 and a half. How the fuck am I putting money on the over in this game? I don't get it. Um, anyway, um, even with the uh, late touchdown by Najee Harris, I was thinking you can think of something shitty to say about it, uh, still landed under the total. Uh, not so much on the previous side. We uh, we, were, we debated which side, which one to make a premium, which one to make it free. And uh, on the premium side, we took the Steelers team total under. Capped it at 21 and a half, could have had it at 22, maybe 22 and a half in the right spots before the game went off. And uh needed one more play. I needed one more play and have them not gain 37 yards in the last fucking minute of the game. Uh, if you saw what happened, yeah, that was, uh, maybe mentioned that when I called the cops as Najee Harris. Broke it off, third and one. Uh, not really much of an effort to chase him down there on the part of the Browns. And uh, yeah, not so much. So... Brutal beat there. We had also had the Gold State Warriors minus nine. They win by seven. Uh, beat a two, two and a half point line move there. You can toss that in the closing line value trash can. There you go. Thanks very much. Uh, we did uh, hit our what, sixth in a row. Bet the farm. Staying smoking hot over there as we took the uh, little uh, underdog play on the Rangers and they took care of business quite easily. So, two and two overall. Let's see if we can have a winning day today. All right. We're going to play. Take a little play from the Tax Act Texas Bowl. By the way, does Tax Act sponsor every fucking bowl game right now? Is that the way that works? Uh, LSU, Kansas State, Kansas State minus seven. And the uh, more appropriately, should call this the ghost of LSU. This is a very different team personnel-wise and coaching staff-wise than you saw during the regular season with the Tigers. Uh, of course, you know they're currently between coaches as Ed Orgeron was shown the door, i.e., and uh, Brian Kelly bolted uh, the Golden Dome factory and uh, bringing him down to coach next year. In the meantime, you got Coach Brad Davis, offensive line coach, first African American to ever coach uh, at LSU, interim or otherwise. So congratulations for that. Um, so this is bringing three assistants. That's all they've got. That's everybody that hasn't either gotten sick or has a uh, jump ship. So three assistants uh, from the regular season are coming with him. That should be fun. Um, this team, you've probably seen it around if you follow Twitter, if you if you read about this game. Uh, they normally have 85 scholarship players. They will have 39 available for this game. And bad news, none of them are quarterbacks. They were tried to uh, tried to get a, ra a waiver for Nismeyer, who's already played four games this season, couldn't get it. They left it up to him, and he said, you know what, I believe I will not want to play this game. So he's out. They've got a couple of uh, freshmen. They have a wide receiver that played quarterback in high school that you're going to see some 
Wildcat from. Should be fun. Um, leading gown, uh, the leading rusher is Oot. Um, as far as the defensive goes, their top two tacklers are out. And this is a uh, defensive backfield that is in a world of hurt. They are missing three of their four starters, and that is after they've been nickeled and dime all year long, losing a shit ton of players. They lost Stingley to start the season, and it didn't get any better after that. So uh, as far as K-State goes, hey, they're K-State. They're happy to be here. Um, they've got Deuce Vaughn, and I am excited to have the, uh, the nation get a chance to see Deuce Vaughn a uh, really, really good running back, um, a lot like um, Tyler Beatty from Mizzou, top five running back that you probably didn't get to see too much because they didn't get a lot of national TV time, so that should be fun. Skylar Thompson's back, um, <clears throat> six-year senior, Skylar Thompson, and uh, I thought he was the same. I thought he was the same age as my son, and my son's been out of college two and a half years, so maybe he was a year behind. They they played against each other in high school, so anyway. This is his last game. Swear to God, this is it. No more, no seventh year for him. Um, and he's been banged up a lot this season. He's probably the healthiest he's been since the beginning of the year. Um, decent passer, good runner, uh, decent passer. Not not uh, not his strong suit, but he's not horrible. He's he's definitely in eh, middle of the pack in the Big Twelve. Should be fine. Uh, I just think that LSU won't be able to get a lot going in this game. Kansas State, uh, they play def decent defense. They've had some nice performances as long as the offense can keep them off the field. And I think with Thompson, they'll be able to do that. K-State kind of crumpled down the stretch, losing their last two. But they lost Thompson early in the Texas game and uh, replaced him with Will Howard, which is not a good look. But uh, this will be the last time as a K-State fan I can feel uh, really good about it because they're uh, they're bringing in uh, – uh, who the hell are they bringing in? Somebody that I absolutely hated um, throughout their college career. Oh, they're oh from Nebraska, they're bringing in Martinez. Oh, God. So – uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy watching this game. K State, I think they take. I think they take care of their business. Um, I think this was. I think this was pretty much pick them. K State minus two, full strength. I think dropping this line five points. I think it probably is an under. Uh, I think it's an underreaction so far. This uh, LSU team. I just. I just don't see how they get much going on either side of the ball. Give me K State minus the seven. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets. And head back to the window. All right, uh, you guys know how I did yesterday. Let's see. Uh, let's see who had a good day out there, shall we? Uh, first of all, I'll start with a question from Chris Lyons. Chris said, "Do I expect uh, viewers to play my free picks?" Uh, fuck yeah, dude. I'm the shit. I don't ever miss. No, of course. I expect you to play my picks if you like them. Um, I expect this just to be another tool in your toolkit. I've said it a lot. I probably haven't said it lately, but that's what this is. It's just more information. It's just another tool for you guys to use. You like what I say about this game? You're like, hey, man, that meant this sound like a decent play. Do some more research. Back it up. Look for opinions that disagree, and then find out which ones that you trust more, which stats mean more, which information seems to be better. That's what I expect. I just I use, I put this out there as another tool. I have no expectations. Uh, I have, I've never roasted anybody for fading me, never roasted anybody for fading me and hitting. It's going to happen. It's totally fine. If you like to play, play it. But uh, most importantly, do your own research. Just use this as another tool. Don't take it as the gospel. All right? There you go. Uh, as far as today's action goes, how about, how about Carrot? How about Carrot stepping out hitting a little parlay? Going 1-0 plus 1256. He had Wisconsin-Purdue over. And he had Cleveland-Pittsburgh first half under. Well done, Carrot. Doc Brown going 2-1 and one plus 100. Corey Graves 2-1 and one plus 90. T-Trade 1-0 and oh plus 500. See, he tailed me. It's Cleveland-Pittsburgh under. Drake Lawson uh, had a pretty fine day. Uh, Drake went 3-2. But he hit a very nice money line and uh, alternative line parlay. Uh, he had the New York Rangers minus one and a half. They were actually dogs in that game. That was uh, our bet the farm play, as I mentioned. And he had the Memphis Grizzlies on the money line. And they were, I think, plus 208 for that one. But the bottom line paid about nine to one. So the 500 paid 48.08. Take away 20 of uh, juice there for the other two. And you've got a nice 
tidy, tidy profit of 47 uh, 88 Congratulations to Drake Lawson. Well done. Uh, he may be a COD. Buddy's House of Food goes 2-1. and one. He got uh, plus 90. And Scott Nowak 1-1. One and, one, and Mr. Nowak was juiced. But your capper of the day, you know him, you love him. Nicely done, Drake. Uh, I don't remember seeing Drake before. So uh, if I missed you, I'm, uh, my apologies if you're new. Welcome aboard. Quite a statement win there, my friend. He goes 3-2 and two plus 47 88. Congratulations, Drake, because you, my friend, are the capper of the day. Thought you had it, didn't you, Carrot? Any other day, buddy, you're probably right there. But uh, congratulations to Carrot. Congratulations to everybody else that made money out there today. Starting the week, starting the year off right. Let's keep it going, all right? You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to check out Scott and I later today, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, as we once again will help you to head back to the window. Take care, everybody.